राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वन सिनेरियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच वॉज रिसेंटली आस्क इन द डेटा एनलिस इंटरव्यू फॉर द पावर बे डेवलपर रोल एट डेलॉइट विच इज अग फोर फॉर्म यू ऑन लो को इंसिडेंटली दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज अगेन आस्ट इन वन ऑफ द टॉप एम एन सीज द सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वॉज शेयर बाई वन ऑफ द सब्सक्राइबर ऑफ दिस चैनल let me show you that and which you can see on the screen right now so we will go through this problem and since it is being asked repeatedly so we will see how we can solve this scenario because this can be easily asked in your upcoming interviews too all right let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs All right as you can see on the screen the problem the scenario given by the interviewer is we have one column the column name is column call 1 and you have values like this basically the mix of alphabets numbers and special characters and the result should look like this which is column 1 column 2 column 3 column 1 should contains the letters column 2 contains should contain the digits and column 3 should contain the special characters so we have to break this particular column into three sub columns basically the overall table should look like this instead of this and this we have to do it using power query or dax uh, in the deloitte also it was asked to solve it through dax so we will discuss how we can solve this through dax all right so let me go to power bi and let us see how we can solve this dax problem so i have loaded the same data set so let me take you to the trans power query so you see there is one column which is call 1 and you have all the values mix of alphabets and the digits and special characters and you can see the sequence also it's a1 star b2 percentage c3 plus so this is how the data set look like the first step to solve this problem is in the power query itself you need to create another column which is called index column okay so for that what you have to do just go to add column click on index column and start from 1 so it will create a index column for you from 1 to 9 i have already created so i will just remove this step so this is the first step you should do to solve this problem and you will get to know the importance of adding this index column right now over here so rest everything will remain as it is i will just scroll close this tab and right now we are on power bi desktop we have table which has values like this now since we have to create a new table which should contains three columns column 1 column 2 column 3 for that let's click on new table and write the dax code so i will name it as output table here the first thing what i will do is i will make use of a variable i will name this variable as uh, add next columns in this i will make use of what i will make use of add columns dax function first so add columns what it does it returns a table with new columns specified by dax expression so the existing table is my table okay the name of the table is table so i will make use of that and in this particular table i will try to add more columns that is the work of add columns dax function so my first column which i would like to return over here is let me name it as next value and in this what i will do i will make use of calculate function this should be my expression so in the expression i am making use of calculate function under calculate two arguments first argument is again expression and here i will make use of max max of my column 1 so this is my column 1 of table why making use of max you can make use of other aggregate also so frequently used aggregate function to uh, define a expression is max you can use min also close the bracket for max and here i will make use of filter function under filter function again i will the first argument will be my table name which is the table and the second argument will be i will make use of here index column that's what i pulled it from power query right so this index column is equal to earlier earlier dax function so what does earlier dax function returns this particular scenario is very good use case of earlier dax function and how earlier dax function is very useful so what it does returns it returns the value in the column prior to the specified number of table scans default is 1 so here i will make use of index column again so close the bracket for earlier so whatever it returns do plus 1 in that and let me also close the bracket for add columns and let let us return this and see what is the result right now okay so that you understand each and every step what what every step is returning so in the result end you can see there is another column created which is next value and what it contains it is containing basically if you can see in the first row 
in front of a we are getting one in the second row you see in the front of one we are getting star in the third row in the in front of star we are getting b so with the help of this particular part of this code index equal to earlier index plus one and calculating the max of table column one we are able to get these values in next value column i hope this is understood now let me remove this and move on to our next step okay in the next step what i will do i will create another column which is next next value and what it will contain for this i will make use of basically this particular code only and copy this and paste it over here and in this the only change i will do is i will make it from plus 1 to plus 2 let us see what does this return i will close the black bracket for add columns and then uh, return uh, add next columns and let us see the result and if you can see over here in, in the down you see next next value and here you can see in the first row in front of a i am able to see star in the second row in front of one i am able to see b in the third row in front of star i am able to see two it is showing the values which are present in next to next row i hope this step is also clear to you now again i am removing this particular step because we need to move further my next step will be to create another variable which is where and here i will name it as letters letters only and in this i will make use of filter function filter will take the table as its first argument i will use the table and then in the filter expression what i will do is i will make use of this call one column and give the filter as greater than equal to a and again same column less than equal to z z close the bracket for filter so what we are doing over here we are basically in this particular variable we are returning a table by using this filter function and it will return me only those rows where we have values between a to z okay i have made this as capital so make it as small z so this will return me those respective rows next step is what i will do is now i will return and what i will return i will make use of select columns dax function from here and from which i will i would like to return because since it takes the table as its for, first argument here i will make use of letters only which we have created above in the second argument which is the name and expression what i will do i will name the columns now which is column 1 and column 1 should have values of what it should have values of column 1 like this square brackets you can use them then i need have need to have another column which is column 2 and here i'll make use of again square brackets my next value column okay it's not coming over here i think i have made some mistake uh, okay the mistake is in this filter the first argument i have given the table the first argument should have this add next columns as the filter as the table name because we want to filter out this where these rows from a to z from this particular code not from the entire table which we had initially now if i go over here and check the square brackets and here now it will show me next value so column should two should have next value then i should have column three which is column three and here i will make the use of square brackets next next value close the bracket for select columns so i hope this particular code is also clear to you let us see what does this return and once you will see the return result then you will understand how this code is working and you can clearly see on the bottom you have three columns column one column two column three now let me go back to the previous step to make you understand why this particular code is working so i will comment this and i will return my add next columns so this was the initial variable that was returning and you can see the value present at one at a the next value has one at b which is this particular row the next value has two for c row you see the next value has three similarly again if i go back to the first row which has a the next next value has star for in front of the b you have percentage in front of c you have plus so that's why in different columns i was selecting and giving value as column one column two column three like this and making use of 
next value next value next value next next value again let me press enter and you will see that end result which was we which we were looking for i hope you understood the solution please do leave a comment if you found this video useful and share this video among your network and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you